Hello everybody, this is Charles and I'm back with another toy review, this time for the Hachite Mazinger Z Volume 30. Alright, so I just received this in the mail today and uh, for this Volume 30, we're gonna get the assembly parts for the hover powder, per half of the hover powder. So uh, I thought, you know, we are going to get the left arm, uh, left fist or the right fist uh, based on uh, the previous uh, video I said, but apparently they're not giving us that, they're giving us the hover powder parts, you know, so they're really denying us of having a complete rocket punch uh, at this moment, but so we have this for the hover powder, and uh, what came with this volume is that we have this coupon again, this um, booklet, so you actually can, uh, I think, put together all 30, uh, all 30, uh, all, uh, what do you call it, uh, the stems from the first 30 volumes, and you can get some premium freebie from there yeah but it's only limited to those in japan so uh for us you not know, outside of japan unless you have a contact in japan who can do it for you if not you wouldn't be able to get it but if you have contacts in japan it'd be good for you to get you know this is a uh, a box to put the spare parts and then you have the capital full uh capital koji standing figure for uh technicians are uh, non-colored and then you have four like professors non-colored and then you have the bikes of capital koji and saya yeah this is what you get yep and for this you know volume 30 okay we're gonna go through this so you know we see the parts to form the hobo powder all right and the instructions which i'll go through more in a while and uh, we have uh, episode 30 the mechanical beast for episode 30 okay and then we have just the screenshots of the video and then some uh comic art and there you have it and then for the next issue we are going to get the second half of the hover powder okay so this is what we're gonna get uh and then okay so here we have a uh, volume 30. I've actually assembled it prior to the review. Sorry about that if you're expecting me to assemble it right now. So these are the parts it came with. Uh, there's still two parts which are unassembled, which is this silver part and this uh, black part. Okay. And then in order to assemble this, you also need uh, this part from, I think, volume 7. Okay. So the reason why I assembled this is because there's so many electronic circuitry parts. So I'm I'm not confident of assembling um, wire so this is which is why i did it uh prior to the review uh i did it offline and also you need to glue some parts so for this you actually need to glue this silver part into this red portion and then you need to glue this red part onto this before you assemble it uh which is not easy and also the wiring for this part is not easy either uh so which is why i actually assemble it beforehand all right but i'll still go through the the assembly guide just to point out some features uh point out some important points to note so for this part you know this actually came from this you actually need to cut it off from the sprues okay you have two sides and then you have this as well which you need to cut it off from the sprue over here okay so for this right you can actually slot it in but it doesn't stay in place so this yellow part actually means that you need to apply uh some glue to it so uh those of you know we actually have this uh, Tamiya cement. So this is actually a recommended one for plastic parts to glue plastic parts together. So you actually need to apply a layer of this Tamiya uh, plastic cement around here. Then you slot it in and let it dry. Okay. Similarly for the other side, you do the same. And then for this right, even though for this right there is a catch. Okay, there is a catch. You actually slot it in, but this catch is not tight. So uh, if it's not tight, means that you can actually easily fall off. So what is recommended is actually you apply a thin layer of the plastic cement over here before. Uh, inserting this um, thruster in and let it dry okay so similarly for the other part they also told you the same thing you know, apply a little bit of plastic cement over here and then slot it in and let it dry so once you're done with this right you need to put this cut cover over here okay making sure that you do not uh, cover the wire so it, this is how it actually looks like over here you should put this part up okay and then once you put it up you screw from the back Okay, you need to go screw from the back, these two parts. So you need to screw this part, okay, one and two. So this part is actually more difficult to screw because it's way all the way inside. Uh, but it's a necessary part because if you don't screw it right, this part will not be tightened. So I think I think for this part, I have not fully tightened this uh, completely. So maybe over here I can still tighten this uh, right now in the video review because I see some gaps over here. You can see over here there's a little bit of a gap. So let's see if I'm able to tighten this uh, part a little bit more. 
Okay, I got the screw part in. Okay, I'm trying to tighten it. I think I really more or less reach the maximum tightness I can go for this. Let's see. Yep. Yep, so I think this is the maximum tightness I can go. I can't go any more tighter. And, and then you see it's almost seamless right now. If I go any tighter, I think I'll probably might just break the joint. So just leave it the way it is, okay? I've probably just already tightened it as much as I can. Uh, like I said, this part is not easy to screw because you need to move the screw all the way inside in, uh, in order to tighten it. Okay, so once you're done for this screw, Okay, you need to insert this. So this is the wiring. Okay, so this is what I mean by you no. Know, in terms of wiring wise, it's really difficult, difficult to actually uh, do. So in terms of wiring, right, you need to first make sure that this things this uh this part goes through, and then you need to insert the other part in the circuitry. So okay, it's not really easy to assemble. Okay, you need to actually push this uh this part in this white part. You need to push it through first, and then over here, right. You need to slot it into this circuitry. So this circuit part, okay, over here, let's see if I can see it clearly, okay? So over here, you need to make sure that this top part slots into this part. So this is the part, this is the connector part. You need to make sure that this slots into this. And it's not easy, actually not that easy to do so. So you, make, you need to make sure that it goes in properly. And once you get that done, right, you need to assemble the motor. So also, likewise the motor, right, you need to actually assemble this over here. Okay, and, and it's not easy to assemble the motor because you have this motor, this mini motor over here. The wiring is very long. So when you assemble this, you need to make sure that the wire uh, goes along this side. Okay, not on the back, but this side. Okay, there must be a reason why they didn't ask you to do it this way. And once you get it aligned this way, right, you need to use this. Okay, this is the plastic for the rotor. Okay, collapse it. Okay, once you collapse it, okay, it will tell you where to actually collapse it, making sure that you don't uh, compress it on the wiring. And once you're done, right, you will need to screw this part. Okay, you need to screw this part, which is this part over here. This black screw that you see. Can I see in the field? Yes, this, this is the one that you screw. So once you screw, right, you need to actually slot this in. So this is the, uh, what you call it, the rotor blades, okay? So uh, you, need, you need not worry that it's a fall because it's pretty tight. So once you slot it in, right, it stays in pretty tight. Okay, it doesn't fall off. Okay, finally, right, once you're done, right, you need to insert the eyes, okay, for the cover powder, which is these two yellow parts, okay. So the instructions didn't, didn't tell you to include the glue, but for myself, I actually added a thin layer of glue at the back just to make sure it doesn't fall off and inserted in, them in. So actually over here, you can't really see the yellow uh, color, okay. You can only see very slightly, but it's all there, okay. So once you're done, okay, this entire... Uh, assembly with for the hover powder half of it. So next issue volume 31 we're gonna hopefully get the second half of the hover powder. So according to this it says the hover powder assembly 2. Okay it just says 2 it doesn't say second half so uh, you might have more parts but I think we're gonna wrap it up. I think there's not much not many more parts to actually uh, go to actually assemble the hover powder. So let's see the hover powder is this. Okay so hover powder wise you see where we are right now the wing the other wing, so in the other wing, which is the right wing, is already given in another issue. So that's already covered for. So in this next issue that we are, and then Kabuto Koji is also given, the figure for Kabuto Koji is already given in another issue as well. So the only parts that we need to actually get are the center part, which is this one, the center piece, and then the cover over here, and then the seat and the glass cover, and, uh, and probably at the bottom as well. Yeah, so you probably get one part, uh, the glass two parts, uh, the seat three, the bottom four, five, yeah. So generally, I think it's just five parts plus a motor six. Uh, that should wrap it up. Yeah, six parts should, wrap, should actually wrap it up for the next one. So I hope that, you know, in the next issue, we will actually be able to form the entire part of the hover powder. And that would be really, really awesome. So right now, let's get back. Uh, let's get down to what I usually do. What I usually do, which is the... Assemble this, and then we're gonna put the arms together again. Uh, this time, it's this one. Just at the same time, going to put mine. Okay, so this I think uh, not sure which is the right, which is the left. Oh yeah, this is correct. So this is the left arm. Okay. 
chances are that this might fall off, but let it be. Okay, not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. Gonna move this aside a little bit. Okay, here we go with the other arm. Okay. So, assemble this one. Just gonna move it all the way inside here. Okay, so we have two iron cutter arms facing us. We have the right and the left shoulder pads over here. And then we're gonna have the Mazinger head. Okay, similarly Mazinger head, we're gonna put it here. And today, to add on to the head, we're gonna have the hover powder or or a half of it. Okay. This is how it's going to look like. Yeah, more or less. So it's not, yeah, it's sitting. Okay, cool. So you see right now here, we have a Mazinger Z, you know, the head almost completely done. Uh, so this is 30%, 30% of Mazinger, which is done. Uh, and then if you really want to look at it, we have Kabuto Koji. Kabuto Koji, the pilot is over here. Let's put it here. In the next issue, I hope to be able to put Kapto Koji into his um, power powder. So yeah, here we are. Really, really cool. Really awesome. I think the uh, reflection is too bright. So let me just put it this way. Hopefully the reflection is better. Yeah, can you see it's slightly better. So vol uh, volume 30, 30% 30 done. Here we are. Uh, 70 issues more to go. <laughs> really, really quite a long way to go, but really excited. And hopefully we can get this assembled soon. Okay. So here's Charles signing off with yet another toy review. Oops, wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna put this in the background so we know this volume 30. Alright, so here's Charles signing off with yet another toy review. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. To stay tuned to my channel for more reviews next time.